The Highliner is perhaps the single largest design of spacefaring vessel ever built in the Imperium. Its monstrous internal holds being capable of carrying an entire planetary population or the entire war fleets of multiple great houses at once. The ships achieve faster than light travel by means of folding space, a space and guild navigator being necessary to ensure that travel is done safely and reliably. Guild navigators rely on an incredibly rich mixture of spice melange delivered in liquid form to allow them to run the incredibly complicated calculations in their minds that are needed to fold space. Highliners are run exclusively by the Spacing Guild, and they charge a high rate for the privilege of travel aboard their ships. And as there is no alternative to long-distance travel aside from their vessels, no one, not even the leader of the greatest of the imperial houses of the Landsrad, would dare risk earning the company's ire by breaking their laws, the risk of being banned from travel being enough to keep everyone in line. Highliners have been present in the Imperium for thousands of years. They were developed during the aftermath of the Butlerian Jihad, which had outlawed thinking machines entirely. Initially, faster-than-light travel was incredibly dangerous, as without the aid of a thinking machine to run the complex calculations needed to ensure a safe jump, the loss rate of faster-than-light ships was impossibly high. This would change with the discovery of the spice melange, which permitted the human mind to expand and make the necessary calculations with training. With this discovery, the Spacing Guild quickly established a monopoly on the faster-than-light trade and carrying of goods, a monopoly they retain down to the present day. Although Highliners are massive and incredibly expensive to build, the general technological stagnation of the galaxy has allowed these monstrous vessels to remain in service for many centuries, with the side effect that the Guild now operates hundreds of the ships. The result of this, in turn, being that, no matter where in the Imperium you may be, there is likely a Highliner in not too great a distance, waiting to take you where you wish to go. Over the millennia since their introduction, the Spacing Guild has developed many intricate ceremonies, customs, and traditions around their Highliners and their daily operations with the navigators themselves being at the center of many complex rituals. It is not known precisely how long the service life of a Highliner is, or what becomes of the vessels once they are no longer fit to serve. The Guild keeps a tight grip on information relating to their business, but speculation would suggest that the vessels serve for perhaps thousands of years, and once too old to serve longer, they are broken down, with their components being recycled, where possible, into their replacement Highliners. Although not a common sight for the peoples of the galaxy, the Highliner is nonetheless a ubiquitous and vital part of the galactic economy, ensuring that its owners achieve profits and are involved in almost every corner of the economy and trade in almost every commodity and good known to man. In real life, I just watched Dune and have been impressed Although we didn't see much of the Highliner in the film, we saw just enough that I can say that I, I want to see a lot more. The design they went with was really interesting and unique, and I'm really looking forward to learning more about the development and design process of this version that we saw in the recent film. And maybe some interviews with the designers would also be really cool to see. Also, to those who have been suggesting that I build a Highliner in Minecraft, I, um, I, I don't think I'll live long enough to finish that. It, that's a lot of, of stuff. Anyway, if you did like this video, uh, give it a like, subscribe, all of that other things that professional YouTubers are always hounding people to do. Uh, be sure to do that, definitely. Uh, and also, have a good day.